What's the worst thing you've ever heard a teacher say at school? I was at rugby practice, and we were doing stretches and we were all lying on the ground and my friend has his head positioned backslash view 200 b close to my other friend's crotch. My friend says quite loudly it looks like you're about to suck my dick, when he realized that our coach who is also a teacher at out school heard him, he started to apologize for swearing, when our coach says he wants a meal not a snack. 5th grade teacher responds to a student, who said they wanted to kill themselves with good, yeah be doing your family a favor. Used to have an alcoholic teacher who, when handing out textbooks, slammed one down in front of a larger boy in our class, pointed at him, and said don't eat it. Yeah the kid cried. In 6th grade, there was an Indian girl in our class, and she was getting teased, because of the way she smelled. She didn't smell bad, she just smelled like Indian food and our teacher did this thing, where she would pull a student into the hall, and talk to them either about bullying or being bullied. Well, she took this girl into the hall, and had one of her talks with her. The teacher then comes back into class, and tells us all that she had a talk with the girl, and explained to her that maybe her family could eat their more traditional foods on the weekends and more American foods during the week. I will never forget, being 11 to 12, and thinking is she crazy. I felt so bad for the girl. I told my mom about it, when I got home that day, so my mom started packing me Syrian lunches my mom was half Syrian, and called the teacher, and beached her out for it. The teacher then apologized to the class and the little girl. Chemistry teacher that got annoyed easily with my class specifically, alright frick this, you're all going to fail this exam people in my class would never shut up and it was the last week of school so he was just done with us i was a metal head with long hair in the ninth grade my algebra teacher who was working on his third dui told me that it odd before i ever graduated i sent him an invite to my graduation i mentioned how i hadn't odd he no showed but one of my other teachers came told me what an asshole that guy was and that he'd be sure to ask him why he couldn't make the graduation. Just to rub it in a little. Age of 9. Lost my father in a horrific accident. I returned to school a few days later, and after attendance was taken the teacher said to me in front of the class the class got together, and sent flowers to your father's funeral. I paid your share so make sure you bring in two dollar to more hours I need to be paid back. She then went on with the lessons. As many have asked what happened, I asked to see the school nurse, and was sent home. Once home I told my mother. Returning to school two days later I never saw the teacher again. I don't know how my mother handled it. This one English teacher at my school once told a black kid to read a passage in some slavery novel to read it blacker. It got on the news, and she eventually just quit. She also moved into my apartment building, and I occasionally run into her which is pretty funny. I just wish I was freaking dead. Overheard by complete chance, while wandering the corridors during a free period. Turned right back around, and took the long route, so I wouldn't have to walk past the classroom. It was a bit of a broken pedestal moment for me, but I never told anyone else about it. The teacher who said it was one of our most beloved history teachers, who we later found out had been stopped from committing suicide at least twice by one of the deputy heads had been friends with him since their university days in the past. Not stopped as and talked things out, and convinced him it wasn't the best way to deal with his problems, but as in physically picked up and dragged away from the window. He the deputy head was quite intimidating as a teacher, but we gained a lot of respect for him after learning that. Not really the worst, but once in high school my teacher legitimately asked the blind girl in our class why she wasn't going up to check her grade on the grade sheet. When I was in high school, my teacher was trying to bring up a powerpoint on the projection square she still needed to log into her account. We all watched as she forgot to hit tab to go to her password and type in frick the shoot. That was the quietest I have ever heard a high school classroom. How dare you write that, you're practically emotionally handicapped. It's psychopathic, said to me at 12 not even half a year after my mom died. She made us write an essay about our home life which in retrospect, was a fricked up excuse, to snoop into my situation and didn't like how I used humor to cope, so she pulled me out of the class, to yell at me for 5 minutes for not being sad enough. 
I don't even remember what I wrote besides cracking some jokes about my dad's outfits. Not all Mexicans are from Mexico. Some are from El Salvador. BCOM professor. My history teacher called himself Big Daddy Edit. It is a little alarming to me how many people have had teachers call themselves the same thing. My science teacher in 7th grade called a Mexican kid in my class a fence hopper once during the middle of class. I had a teacher stand me up in front of the class and have them say stupid in unison. That really did a lot for my 5th grade self esteem, especially considering my dad was in rehab at the time and the reason I was called stupid was I lost my homework at said rehab visiting him. Jokes on her though, I'm an accomplished scientist today despite that terrible chain of events. This wasn't said directly to me but. In middle school I had a teacher grab me from the lunch table and drag me to the principal's office. After grilling me for a while, and telling me I know what I did, they finally revealed to me that the teacher stated she witnessed me suggestively sucking my thumb while staring at a female friend of mine. I was just biting my nail. Would shop teacher telling a nation kid he doesn't really need to wear a face shield on the lathe, you know, because of the eyes. He meant it as a joke, but even at 15 we all kind of hushed and looked at each other like dude did he just freaking say that? When I was 12 my teacher said my knitting had too many errors in it it had 4 and ripped it to shreds. I was supposed to start all over again, but excused myself and went to the bathroom where I cried for the rest of the lesson. My brother abused me as a child it started around 3rd or 4th grade, and when I was in 4th grade he held a pocket knife my dad had given him up to my neck I told my class about it, because I was scared. My teacher took me to the hallway, and told me don't say those things or you'll be taken away from your family. I never mentioned the abuse to anyone again until 7th grade, because of the warning this teacher gave me. It only got worse after the knife incident. You are incompetent terrible, boy who has no decency, and will never amount to anything in your life, it'll be surprised, if you're even capable of finishing this year, let alone school. Very damaging to 9 year old me. In first grade there was one boy in our class, Ragi, who lived in a van. Most of us kids knew about it, because a counselor had come round, to talk to the class after someone had teased him about not changing his clothes. The counselor did a great job explaining to us that now was the time he needed support and friendship, and so us kids were all pretty nice to him after that. Then after winter break we were all sitting around at sharing time talking about what we got for Christmas and Ragi said he got a Super Nintendo. We knew this probably wasn't true, but we went along with it, so he wouldn't feel bad, but the teacher totally called him out on it, saying yeah I've got a Nintendo in your van. Nobody likes a liar Ragi. The kid just wilted, it was awful and just the pure lack of compassion she showed, has stuck in my memory for 25 years. My brother had a friend whose mother had died the day before, but he still went to school for some reason. He walked into the class late or something, and the teacher asked jokingly did your mum die? He just said yeah she did and left. When I was about 9 our teacher asked the class what we wanted to be when we grew up. One kid said he wanted to be a bin man a garbage man. For US readers, the teacher went into a rant, saying that jobs like these were for the lowest, most unintelligent people in society, and that he should aspire to be better than that. Finally she asked why he wanted to be a bin man anyway, because my dad's one, said the kid, by now in tears. I'm late to the party, but by far the worst thing was what my grade 6 teacher screamed at us. We'd been doing something kids do probably talking, and she went off at a class of 30 12 year olds screaming I hope you all get your heads bashed in at high school. 9 tenths great teacher. I had a tax teacher in college point out the kid, who was bound to a wheelchair, and had an aide who would take notes for him, and say that he wouldn't get far in life, because of his disability, and that was just the way his life would be. And the teacher knew this, because his mother was also bound to a wheelchair as well. This made me so angry, sure has going to have a tough time, but no teacher has the right to tell a student what they can and cannot accomplish in life. That teacher was a dick, I told our coordinator, and wrote it on our end of year evaluations. I'm not sure if he returned to be honest.
a teacher told the story of when he was working at a girl's summer camp, the showers had broken down, and he had to go fix it for the girls who were mid-shower. They had the girls put their faces to the walls for some reason. Naked bums all along the walls. He told it, as if it was a funny anecdote. I was creeped the frick out, and can't imagine how the girls who were going to said camp felt about the story. When I was in high school, a gym teacher came up to me one day towards the end of class when everyone was just kind of freely shooting basketballs and hanging out on the bleachers. I was standing by myself and walked up and asked me something about the neighboring town. He said, did you know that in Alney, they used to hang niggas with velvet and then just walked away. It was the only time he ever talked to me. In white and he was a black guy, maybe 68. I think he was in the NBA for one season or something. Everyone loved him, so I guess he was just messing with me, but he got me pretty good. Okay I have one. When I was in elementary, I got confused at lunchtime and threw my food out early and wandered outside for recess. Alone realizing my mistake and having no idea what to do, I went back inside and told a lunch lady and asked what I should do. She dragged me by the arm to the center of the lunchroom with a live mic and informed everyone of my mistake and how no one should do what I did because it was a bad bad thing. She told everyone I was going to get expelled. I was sobbing at that point. I kept asking her what expelled meant, but she didn't answer me. All I knew was that it was a bad thing. I never told my mom until years later. And no, I didn't get actually expelled. Paraphrasing slightly, but there's no such thing as Asperger syndrome. This is just attention seeking behavior. Said to me, about me. Admittedly this was over 20 years ago, when not everybody had heard of it, but still. I'd had two days of tests and brain scans resulting in a long form diagnosis slash explanation which my parents had shared with my teachers. Every other teacher basically reacted with, oh, so that's why he's so weird. Okay, we can work with this, but not this guy. FCKU, Mr. M. Mrs. Noodle, my third grade math teacher. 1987. I missed two weeks of school due to a horrible case of chicken pox and fell behind with whatever it was that we were working on. A month after I came back to school, I was still struggling with math but was too young and scared to ask for help. We had a test that I failed. So, Mrs. F. King Noodle brought my third grade self up to the front of the classroom and shamed me. She told the entire classroom that Buffyho will never succeed in math. I ended up crying and going to the nurse with a stomach ache. I'll never forget how awful she was to me, and I struggled with math for the rest of the time that I was in school.